Hi, I wanted to do a quick video on the tractive suspension I've got mounted on my Porsche 996 uh, Courier 2. It's a manual. Now normally these cars are not capable of having a active suspension like you could get on the 997 and the later 991s. But this Dutch company uh, Tractive uh, developed a suspension system using a patented electronic valve inside the dampers which you can control with a separate screen that I've got mounted here in the uh, center console of my 996. It's loose so I can take it out. The cable uh, attaches to the car somewhere. But yeah, you can see the control module for the suspension. Now what this system does, it gives you the opportunity to adapt the roll and pitch of the car both front and rear, and you can actually save pre-configured settings uh, in the memory of the control unit. So I can switch between the different settings depending on the situation. So M1 is uh, my regular road driving setting, M3 is the track setting, uh, M2 is the wet setting, and I've got another few settings in there. M5 is a very stiff suspension setting which I only would use on a very smooth track but yeah the system basically adapts the suspension based on the setting and based on the inputs it gets from a central mounted G sensor and uh, accelerometer so there is a centrally mounted uh, sensor that I've got in the center console of the car um, it's quite difficult to fit it in there but I can actually give it a show it to you where it's mounted so hold on let me just get out and walk over to the other side of the car so I can show it to you so I don't know if this is visible on camera yeah it should be okay so if you go in here and take out the center console mount you can see the controller here it's very tight. Um, I had to modify the uh, center console unit a little bit to be able to fit it in there. Um, it's missing a tab as you can see so I need to get a new one for this. But yeah, using a heat gun uh, I managed to reform this a little bit so that I could actually fit this over there uh, without it being visible that there is a different unit. So that controller or that sensor unit basically uh, controls the reactions of the damper based on what movements the car is doing. Yeah so that's pretty much the components of course the dampers themselves. They are uh, a full coilover system um, so like any racing coilover I can pretty much adjust uh, the ride height you know, you can have different spring uh, weights uh, based on your preference. But the function of the dampers is mainly governed by the electronic valve that's inside the coilover. Or inside the damper unit. And it's basically a continuously variable uh, valve. And because of its variability and the speed that it can react in, between 6 to 10 milliseconds to go from fully open to fully closed on the valve. It allows basically you to use a lot softer springs on the car, keeping it the comfort, uh, but also keeping uh, the ride or the traction in on bumpy surfaces or on loose surfaces because you have, you know, the suppleness in the suspension because you're not using incredibly stiff springs, but because you can actually then uh, stiffen up the suspension using the uh, the controller you can actually make it as stiff as you want so the default settings well sorry the the safety setting of the dampers is when there is no power to them um, they're at their hardest so the valve is completely closed and it's incredibly stiff it's you kind of need like a kidney brace if you want to drive the car uh, when there's no power to the dampers because it's incredibly stiff. 
um, even though I have the spring rates on my car are very similar to what the Porsche original spring rates are. So I can go from a comfortable car um, to a completely undrivable stiff car with the push of a button, all because of that valve in the damper. Now there are other uh, electronic damping systems out there. Uh, most OEMs use is what is called a, a magnet rhetorical damper. So they actually have a fluid in them with metallic particles in it and by magnetizing that fluid they can actually change the stiffness of the damper. There are a few drawbacks to that only because it's quite expensive because there's, elect there's steel particles or magne magne magnetic particles in the uh, fluid it's a little bit abrasive so the damper start leaking they're quite expensive and they're not a true coilover system most of the time with the tractive dampers and I'll show you some pictures of how I built or the, the, the dampers themselves and the build when we uh, installed them on the car they are yeah true racing coilover uh, very high quality and um, but they have that uh, variability and I have a lot more settings to play with than you would normally get in your Porsche or Ferrari or Audi with a similar uh, system or BMWs nowadays as well. Uh, you've got basically got three settings usually sport, comfort and uh, what else uh, or regular and yeah it, it's you're limited in your options there. The other part of it is that the Dampers attractive builds can actually function as uh, full plug and play units to your BMW or Audi uh, or Ferrari or Porsche if you already have an adaptive damping system in the car. So you just take out the original dampers, uh, you plug in the uh, or you mount the attractive dampers and the wires into the damping or the electronic valve in the damper. They use the exact same connectors as you know that is used in your car from the factory. So you can replace the uh, electronic dampers with the tractive dampers which is a very nice thing it doesn't give you necessarily the additional uh, setting options but you can actually tune them to the different settings that is already in the car and uh, for Porsche there is even different controllers that you can get like the DSC Sports that would make your existing PASM system uh, much more responsive much more fluent much better handling than the original uh, Porsche system so that's basically yeah, a quick walkthrough of what the system does. It has a lot of modification or a lot of uh, settings that you, can see, that you can see on the screen. And yeah, uh, I don't constantly play around with them. Uh, I've set up a few presets that I really enjoy. And based on the conditions, based on the track, if I'm on the track, you know, I can still adjust it if I would like. But yeah, you know, you've got these preset settings. And based on the movements of the car, each damper is individually controlled uh, to match the settings that you've pre-configured in the system. I think that's about it, what I wanted to say about it. And then, you know, I'll talk a little bit about the install uh, in a separate part of the video where you can actually um, see some pictures of uh, when we did the install. It took about two days to do the whole install. Unfortunately, I didn't film that at the time, but I did take pictures uh, of every stage of it. So let's go through that now. So aside from a um, gratuitous shot of the 996 in the Rhymes pit lane, um, yeah, we've got pictures of the um, damper set with the external reservoirs for the rear dampers, and you can also see the uh, wires for the uh, electronic valve inside the dampers. Um, here's a picture of the damper mounted underneath the car. These are the uh, front dampers and then the rear dampers with the external reservoir uh, tucked away under one of the um, suspension arms or actually subframe arms and this is a picture of the uh, interior where I was trying to uh, route the wires from the controller uh, down to the uh, individual dampers pretty, have to, pretty much have to take out the entire interior the uh, front seats, the carpeting, everything, just to be able to run the wires to dampers. That was a lot of work, but in the end, here you can see the connector um, 
routed to close to the top of the damper. Um, I hadn't mounted the dampers yet when I did the uh, wiring install. So that's why I don't see it connected up yet. And then in the end everything tied together and um, the control unit connected and powered on without any error messages. So yeah, that was um, the install portion of the dampers.